Good morning. Speaking of interesting, oh, hey. we're on. Oh, hey, that's <laughs> interesting. That's crazy. <laughs> good morning, Jen. I know you're on there, Jen. Jen, good to see you. Oh. Jennifer Mari is on as well. Is that current, Jennifer Mari? Are you live, current, like for real? Say hi. A while ago. Say good morning. Or was that from the earlier service? Oh, maybe it was. Oopsies. I don't know. Well, then it doesn't matter because you're not hearing me say hi. It doesn't matter at all. No. But what does matter is if you are on with us mm -hmm. right now and you are live on this beautiful Sunday morning right before our second service, our 10.30 nice. a.m. service, we would love to hear from you because I'm looking at the screen now and so I can see things that you put in the chat box, whether you're on Facebook, hey, you're somebody on loves, live stream, somebody or loves on you. YouTube. Somebody loves it's me. probably the that media might, guys. I think they loved somebody from earlier. I think we're glitching a little, but that's okay. okay. That's not a if problem. If you're tuning in, get on there. Make up a screen, na screen name like... <laughs> Thundercat. I don't know. Oh, ooh, somebody be a Thundercat. Make up a screen name. It's real easy. It takes five seconds and you're on. You don't have to input anything. So join us. We're going to talk story. We're going to have a would you rather. We're mm -hmm. going to uh, just get your virtual <clears throat> coffee in the lobby going or yeah. depending where you are in the country, maybe it's lunchtime. Maybe we'll get a sandwich and uh, there you get go. church started. Yeah, because so. typically when we come to church, we bump into people on the way in. Yeah. We sit down. We get to greet other people. Mm -hmm. And when we're online, we don't get to do that. And so this is our chance to kind of have a virtual connection with you people. You bumped into Jordan just bumped now. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi, just how are you doing? Just don't spill, just don't spill yeah, coffee my on coffee? my sleeves. Yeah, because it might burn because you yeah, don't have sleeves. Exactly. There we go. There we go. Uh -huh. I love it. Bruce, how are you doing this week? Good. Hey, you know, this week we're uh, we're babysitting our friend's dog. You so are? That's kind of cool. It's okay. different. But, you know, when you have pets, you have to kind of change your life a little bit. Like yes. now, there, there's one place we can't go anymore with because you have a dog. Where's, where's that, the, Bruce? The flea market. <laughs> So it's kind of That's a bummer. A good one. I didn't see that one yeah. Okay, all yeah. right, you got me with that one. Uh. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, Bruce. And surprisingly, the dog's name is Jenny, and so we have another you're Jen. Jen. In so our you're house. married to a Jennifer. You have a Jenny, Jenny in the house. We have Jen online. We got Jen on here. Jen. So Jen is the best name ever. Uh, I guess so. It's just I guess so. so many wonderful women. Yes. And, so. dogs. <laughs> and dogs. And dogs. Dogs. I'm not the one who named dog Jen. Okay, all right, all right. That is the danger, though, in starting to name pets human, human names. names. Then you start associating. It's kind of like maybe it's like should we have an informal ban on being? I able know. Call to them Spot and Fido and all that. Yeah, what or, or like and anything. Oh, anything. One of our friends, Jojo, if you're on there, uh, her dog is a Schnauzer something mix, super cute dog, Billy Jean. Billy Jean. Okay. As in. Dun, 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 okay. Dun, 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 dun. Ew. Yes, it's okay. Billie Jean. All right. So that was cool. There you so go. But Billie see, Jean. but at least that's a little, a little yeah, funky. It's not, cool, not a, not a common enough name like, where you're gonna relate to like, oh, you're like my friend Billie Jean. No, you probably don't have a friend named Billie Jean. You probably don't. That's what I'm saying. It's like you can go like super silly with it. And then you always start singing when you're like Billie uh -huh. Jean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we so. go. That's good. I like that. Yeah. We should have a karaoke day one week. That'll be awesome. Like, I just have a microphone right here and. Yes. But then we might scare all the people that are on there that watching. That is true. I think yeah. we're probably all too far guys. into the weeds yeah. already. Thank you, everybody, who's here with us this morning on the Pre-Celebration Connection. I want to see you guys in the chat. We're going to warm it up with this would you rather question because all, okay. I'm, all I'm hearing in the chat right now is crickets. Okay, mm -hmm. so here we go. Today's would you rather question. This is a very heated debate. You can present your reasons <laughs> for why or why not, or you can just declare your position. Either is fine. Today's would you rather question is... Would you rather for one year? For one year. One year. Watch zero TV or read zero books. Which mm -hmm. would you prefer? See, it's a generational mm -hmm. gap because when I was younger, that was easy. I don't want to read books anyway. That is true. But here and now, here and now, I'm pretty firmly in the camp for one year. I wouldn't mind going no TV. Okay. I wouldn't mind. Why? Uh, just you just wouldn't mind? Is that just like the less pain option? <laughs> I know, right? Or is there more of a reason to this? Because I'm older and wiser. <laughs> <laughs> I've recently, in the last five years, gotten into uh, reading uh, biographies uh -huh. and stuff. Oh, I gave you that Seven Women book. You, have you got through some of them? I a have, of them? Yes. yes. Many of them were very interesting. Uh, I think Susanna Wesley was mm -hmm. one of the ones who struck me in the first part of the book. I think yeah. about halfway through. Mother it. of Homeschool? Yes, she was. There she you go, right up your alley. Yes. yes, and then it was Joan of Arc was in there as well. Yeah. I did some things I didn't know about her. Exactly. I'm like, kind of do the general story. Yeah, or whatever, whichever <clears throat> form of the movie you watch, you thought, yeah. okay, well, that's exactly. the story of Joan of Arc. And uh -huh. then now you're like, oh, it's not. It kind of sh shone more light on, like, you know her general story, but, like, who she was mm -hmm. as a person. And, yeah. and 
why she chose to do what she chose mm -hmm. to do and where she came from and so that was interesting yeah but yeah we were it's interesting how the older you get the more those things start making sense yes and it's funny how like when i was like 14 15 my I mom was like you that. need to read these biographies of these no. like i skimmed every fourth page or yeah you're like okay person got it battle armor okay. girl in guys clothes okay. uh-huh what I else get do i need to see on know? the test i'm good yeah exactly and you're just like <laughs> i don't even care but now that we've you know matured yeah, more we're now like, they're interesting um, yes. Some of the ones I've read um, in just in the recent years, Mother Teresa, Billy Graham, uh, the Seven Men book. So there yeah. was, you know, <clears throat> Eric Weddle and even Chuck Colson, uh, Bonhoeffer, mm -hmm. um, Washington, mm -hmm. George Washington. So it's interesting to me now. So I wouldn't mind, you know, if I was just reading versus mm -hmm. uh, not watching TV. I can make I can make good use of that. You could do and that. get a lot of work done That'd at right. the same time. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> yes. Good morning, Bridget. We're glad that you're with us yeah, from the Big Island. Welcome. Uh, oh, what time question... zone is it over there? <laughs> it's Hawaiian a, time. It's a big time difference. <laughs> um, Bridget, the question. Sorry. Who the question this morning was? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> for one year, would you rather watch no TV or read no books? Yep. Those were your options. <laughs> Come on, Bridget. If you're going to go books, give me some books you've read recently or ones you would look forward to. I have yes. a Bonhoeffer book in on my uh, mm -hmm. counter that's Diedrich. bigger than a dictionary, and it would take me all year. So there you go. That's yeah. kind of why I need a year to get through that. That's that's perfect. So Bruce has reading. But once again, I would like to defend the TV watching yeah, as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm like, if you really... <sighs> If you really had that kind of year and that kind of personality, I don't think that would necessarily be yeah. a horrible well, thing. Like, what would you be watching on the TV? I think right? that would be yes. the question. If you're just watching Jersey Shores for a year. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> or maybe not. Housewives of. Have they made that. a year's worth of Jersey Shore? I don't know. I, that would be. I just know it's a show I don't watch. That would be really rough. Yeah. You could watch Friends, the Friends. whole series. How many? Were there like 10 seasons something of that? Something ridiculous. Something, like something that. yeah. It just yeah. kept kept going see but the thing is now i cannot imagine not i can't imagine because i was kind of there but that's the weird thing. i grew yeah. up right as like technology was not being invented but was really escalating yeah. so i saw vhs's right and i saw dial up mm -hmm. but then by the time i was really making my yeah, own like choices we, we were already into like mail order netflix and <laughs> yeah. it's just picked up from there but when they originally um, it would make TV shows yeah. like you got one a week and you had to wait and you had to <gasps> wait and they put ads in the middle oh, And I'm like, I don't know how like I sincerely don't know how people put up with that. I'm like, yeah. no I don't think I would have nope. that would have been so back much in torture. the day day you had three channels four three. if you count PBS <laughs> If you count PBS, do you count PBS? That's the real question. Okay. Ooh, somebody's got answers for you. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. So that is that is a prayer request from Amelia. Thank you so much for um, sharing with us what's going on in your life. And yes, that will be submitted to our prayer team. Thank you yes, so you much. Yes, you see for those sharing. one love icons down the list there. Mm -hmm. They're there for you. They are getting connected. They hear you, and you are seen. Absolutely, absolutely. Bridget, did you have a thought on whether you would rather um, get rid of all TV or get rid of all books for a year? For a year. What would be Especially better? Especially knowing you? it's a year. That's what I'm saying. You like, said all time. Woo. It's not forever. <laughs> it's not forever. But you do have we to can commit fast to a, for a whole. Year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What would that look like? Yeah. I don't know if you would get super out of the loop with like pop culture oh, being yeah, totally did, out of TV. So what? I feel like I already, I already yeah, am so what? anyway. I know. Once you're stuff. past 22. That's it. You're in that <laughs> next generation. Past 22. That's what I was. All right. Speaking of fasting and right. food, guess what national day it is today? <laughs> um, I, I gave you a clue. It has to do with food. Okay, it's it's eat food day. Uh, oh, just about. Every day. My just bad. about. It's national <laughs> chop suey day. <laughs> it is. It's national chop suey day. Chop suey. So it's Chinese for lunch and dinner tonight. What there is chop suey, you asked? What is what is chop suey, exactly. I asked? It's actually the American version <laughs> of Chinese cuisine. So oh. <laughs> it's kind of like if you take some meat and stir fry it with various mm -hmm. Asian vegetables with the sauce, that's chop suey. So mm -hmm. it's an American thing that took Chinese and American and tried to say it's Chinese. So chop suey day, go order your uh, beef broccoli from Pandas or uh, some chow fun from, ooh, Chun Wa Cam. Chun Wa Cam, that's a good one. Yeah, there you Chun Wa Cam down, down the street here. Mm -hmm. National chop suey day, get it going. Didn't you say you're... So your mom no, or somebody? somebody earlier said was oh. saying we had talked about yes. this. Was saying that they do a fabulous chicken chop suey that had like 
Oh, bok choy yeah, she, yeah. and baby bok choy and it. napa cabbage and 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 then it sounded. Isn't it funny? Fabulous. As a kid, that would that would have scared me like too much cabbage. Like, now why? I'm like, ooh, that, that sounds, sounds good. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Is chop suey would fried rice be like chop suey or is fried rice separate? Is that a the fried thing? rice itself would be separate? Okay. Yeah, but <laughs> if you did. All the veggies in the meat, mm -hmm. that would be the chop suey, and you can serve it with fried rice. Oh, okay, all right. I'm just I'm thinking because yeah. sometimes you can it's throw kinda... all the leftovers and stuff into That's the how fried, I rice fried rice as well. Yeah, Le so, I have leftover rice, and it's okay. Well, what's in the fridge? Oh, look, there's bacon, there's some chicken, oh, there's a zucchini, and <laughs> all right, it's fried rice day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, think carrots belong in fried rice though. I don't mind it, but it's not my first choice. That's yeah, what I'm saying. if it's if it's in that fridge or I'm hunting, mm -hmm. uh, it goes in. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, all you'll right. have That's peas fair. in there. You'll have you know, ooh, mushrooms in there. Really ooh, good. mushrooms. I can. So yeah. Now we're just making ourselves yeah. hungry. That's Fried what's rice happening. and chop suey are cousins. Okay, that makes more go. sense. That's Same awesome. Same principle applies. All right, Bridget. Yes. Thank you so much for answering. She says she'd rather watch no no <laughs> watch no TV. She says she can always go back to books for references. Fresh wind, fresh fire. Again, yep. yes, absolutely. We realized that that was the mm -hmm. caveat to this: is maybe you should read your Bible, even if you're going to watch. TV <laughs> yeah, we forgot for to year. mention that part. Re yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Bible in a year. There you go. Uh huh. Exactly. Yep. So. <laughs> Yes, you could read your Bible for a year. Uh, said yes, you did chop suey yesterday. You did? Uh -huh. Oh, you are you are ahead of the game. Uh, yes. Was, yeah, she's with her family and knows how that goes. Ten pound gain, easy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. All that sodium. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, of. you gotta like, put the sauce on there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Oof. And then it's so good, you just keep pounding it, you slam I it. I think I will gone. go to Chenwal Cam after this. I know. Now I want China. I wanted panda yesterday anyway. Yeah. And mm. now I want it. Pandas isn't more. bad. People are not kind of like, oh, it's American version. It's better than some other places. Pandas it, is not too bad for an American and Chinese In my restaurant. neighborhood, Mandarin. I think that is probably our best option. Yeah. Especially open on Sunday. I think, cause, like, I think the one other place is not even open. Like, they have the weirdest right. hours. You're like, <laughs> Which I is want weird some because food. they're not a Western society, you know, Chinese food, but they're closed on Sundays. Yeah, they're closed on Sundays and Mondays. Odd. And you're like, I, I was hungry. It's chop suey day. Did they not hear I about this? I wonder if they know That's... that. I wonder if you show up today. <laughs> Just mm. if they'll show up today. Uh, graffiti on their wall. It's National Chop Suey Day. How dare you be closed? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's too well, funny. if you guys are tuning in, this is the pre-celebration connection. We're having fun. Are we talking silliness? You're like, I thought I tuned into church. Yeah, you did, but we just ran into you in the lobby and we're just having fun, warming up mm -hmm. our hearts and spirits, uh, letting the garbage of the week go by because we're getting ready for church that starts in two minutes and eight, seven, six, five there seconds. Go. There we go. So welcome to your pre-celebration connection. This is Jordan. I'm Bruce. Good morning. Get in Good there. Morning. Tell us what's going on and tell us if you'd rather go without books or TV for a year or what you're going to do for National Chop Suey Day. That. Also, I'm going to throw one at you, Bridget, because I know you're, you're there chatting with us. Um, today, we're jumping into the book of Psalms. Yes, we are. Here in church. And so, do you have a favorite psalm? Ooh, something we're going to get a little If churchy. you're reading your book, <laughs> if you're reading your Bible. If you turn the TV off to read your Bible. What's your favorite book in Psalms? Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. That's one you guys can answer as well. And if you've just been watching with us this whole time and you haven't said anything yet, it's not too late. TV or books for a year, what's it going to be? Mm -hmm. Let me know. My favorite Psalm, I think, is Psalm 13, verse 6. I forget six. my numbers. Just because just I just like the verse. It's, I will sing to the Lord for he has dealt bountifully with me. Oh. And so I'm like, that was just like... To me personally, yeah. I'm like, that That sounds so much like me. Like, I'm going to sing, I'm going to jump, be like, mm -hmm. yay! That, that's like you, really? I'm like, I I'm know, shocked. right? It's right. shocking that I would express my joy that he has dealt so graciously so, with so, me in so many ways. Psalms throw me back a funny story <laughs> of my, when I first was kind of getting saved, I had a friend who was like, hey, come to my house. Well, you know, and, and he got me to open the Bible and start reading it. And he's like, let's just start in Psalms. And I was like, okay. So I'm thinking, okay. I gotta, f I'm thinking I have to find all these spiritual things. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm looking through something like, oh, look, look at this. It's really cool. And it says like, it ends with like, you know, uh, praises to God or something. Yeah. Like, hey, that's great. And he's like, yeah, they kind of all say that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I thought I just found something really cool. Like, <laughs> look, they're saying praise <laughs> to God. <laughs> So that's my, uh, when, when I when I in, go into Psalms, I'm like, yeah, that's where I first stumbled as a young Christian. Yeah, like, I don't think that's 
that's even a stumble. Yeah, well, I, I just sounded really kind of, of it, super right? naive. Yeah. But I mean, that's why do you think God repeated it hundreds of times? I, I think know. there might be some significance there that we're going to be unpacking in these yes. next, I don't know, however long it takes us to get through the book of Psalms. But thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you again next week. Have a good morning.